Simple Distillation by kscience.com In this video, we're going to learn how to use distillation to separate water from salt water. We will also understand why distillation is a more efficient method than using a simple still. A Bunsen burner and tripod are used to safely heat the mixture. The round bottom flask contains the mixture. The thermometer is used to measure the temperature of the evaporated gas. This identifies the boiling point. In this example, we are distilling a solution of salty water. The Bunsen burner heats the mixture, causing the water to evaporate, making the liquid turn into a gas. Anti-bumping granules are really important. They help the mixture boil more smoothly. Therefore, the risk of large bubbles and boiling over is decreased. Here I'm drawing small bubbles to represent the gentle boiling. These smaller bubbles are really important because larger bubbles have the potential to boil over into the condenser. Once evaporated, the gas rises up and flows into the condenser and the salt is left in the round bottom flask because its boiling point is too high. It does not evaporate. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the condenser. Its job is to condense the gas from a gas into a liquid. The cold water flows in from the bottom where it flows around the tube that the gas flows through. And then this cold water flows out from the top. At no point does this cold water ever go in the same tube as the gas flowing. So the job of a condenser is so that the water vapor condenses from a gas into a liquid. The final result is water droplets dripping into the conical flask as a colourless liquid. You'll see pure water, 100% water, also known as distilled water. And there's also a general term which is the distillate, which means the liquid formed from the distillation of a mixture. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.